Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to open up effects with keyboard shortcuts in Reaper. So I have a project in front of me here, and I want to quickly open up the effects on each track. So normally what you do is you go to the track over here, like my kick, click on this little button, and that opens up my compressor and my EQ that I put on this track earlier. Another way we could do it is we could right click that button and choose right here, my compressor, which floats the effect, or the EQ, which also floats. But that's a bit slower, and you have to be more precise to find the button on every single track. It'll be a lot quicker to use a keyboard shortcut. And luckily in Reaper, we can do that. So let me show you how. Let's go to our actions, under the actions menu, show action list. Then we'll type in the filter, open close. Then we can scroll down here to the bottom. And these actions right here are going to trigger opening and closing our track effects. But they're unassigned by default. So let's change that. Click on the first one, which is going to open up the first effect on each track the last touch track, and we'll add a keyboard shortcut. I'm going to use Control-1, but you can use any keystroke that you prefer. I'll go to the second one, make it Control-2, and so on. Three, and then four. I'm just going to do the first four, but we could do up to eight of them, one through eight. Now, if I hit these keystrokes, just those effects are going to open up on the last track that we touch. So let's go to my kick track, select it, hit that keystroke, and it opens up to my compressor, which is the first effect on that track. Now we can hit that keystroke again, and then it closes. Then we can hit the keystroke for the second effect, and that opens up the EQ, which is the second effect on that track. And again, we can close it with the same keyboard shortcut. Or we could switch back and forth between the first one and the second one using those keyboard shortcuts. And this is going to work for every track in our project. I go to my snare, hit the first keyboard shortcut, and it opens up to the first effect on that track. Or the second one. Let's go down to the vocal because there's three effects on this track, an EQ, a compressor, and another EQ. Hit the first keyboard shortcut, and it opens up to the first EQ. So I can adjust it, and when I'm done, just close it with the same keystroke. Or I can hit Escape. We can go to the second one, which is our compressor, or the third one, which is the other EQ. Adjust it, and then close it with the same keystroke. Now, if you use this a lot, like I do, you might want to fold the effects. Instead of seeing them with this area over here, we could change that with our preferences. Let's scroll down to our plugins and turn on Auto Float Newly Created Effects Windows. Now these keystrokes are going to float the effects we open up. So to open the first EQ, hit that keystroke, and it opens up that first EQ, but the window floats. Close it with the same keystroke, open the second one to get to our compressor, which also now floats, and then close it, hit the third key to open the other EQ, which also floats. So to float them instead. And of course, we could open up multiple effects at the same time. So if I hit the first keystroke, I get that EQ. The second keystroke opens the compressor. And the third keystroke opens the third effect on that track. And if we had four or up to eight, those keystrokes will work as well. Now, because of this, we can create a custom action to open all of them or close all of them at the same time with one key. Let me show you. Let's close all these. 
Let's go back to our actions. And let's create a custom action right here. We'll go to our filter, type in open close. And let's just drag those keystrokes we found before. First one, the second one, and so on. Let's do all eight. Because it's not going to matter if you only have two or three effects on each track. They're not going to open or close because they don't exist. So we're going to name this open close all effects and save it. We'll give this a keyboard shortcut right here. I'll use control five. And now I can go to my kick track, select it, hit that keyboard shortcut, and all the effects open at the same time. My compressor and my EQ. And if I hit it again, they all close at the same time. My snare, same thing. Opens the snare's compressor and the EQ. Hit it again. It closes both of them. And again with the vocal, there's three of them. Hit that one keystroke. And all three of them open up. So I can edit them. All at the same time. And close them with one keystroke. I think that's a lot quicker. And this will also work with the mixer. So I can go to the mixer. Let's scroll over to my kick. Select the track. Hit that keyboard shortcut. And all the plugins open up. So you can edit them. And we're done. Hit that same keystroke. And they both close. Same with the snare. And any other tracks that have any effects on them. So as you can see, this is a lot quicker than clicking the button or right clicking to choose the effect. We can just choose the track, like our bass, which has a compressor and an EQ. Choose the compressor with the first keyboard shortcut, the EQ with the second keyboard shortcut, or we'll choose them all with that custom action we created. And again, we can close it with the same action. Pretty handy. So that's opening and closing effects using keyboard shortcuts in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.